Hey YouTubers, uh, I managed to clean this up a little bit, not too much, it's still a big spaghetti mess here, but uh, and uh, I'm messing around with different lighting methods, uh, I've been trying just the light in the room and then the outside natural light, right now it's the natural light, so sometimes it doesn't want to focus in right, but whatever, it seems to be doing okay now, anyways, uh, in our last video, uh, we pretty much showed uh, we can get more joules out stored into a capacitor than what went in uh, to our uh, the drive our device running it from uh, a capacitor, and showed that it used less joules than you know we got more joules out than what went in from a capacitor. Okay, so we're going to, right now we're going to uh, pretty much prove uh, how the uh, wattage or the power coming from the power source uh, directly uh, correlates with the amount of joules uh, that we used up from our uh, capacitor. And uh, the show that there's a direct relationship there and that uh, they are pretty much almost identical and that's what I'm going to show here um, in our last video we showed that we used uh, we calculated that we used about 684 millijoules uh, of energy or power however you want to look at that and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to show the amount of actual power coming from our power source uh, and then relate that to the amount of joules. And you'll see that it's pretty much exactly the same. So here we're going to read current. Uh, try to focus that. It just doesn't want to focus all the time in this light. But that's current. And this is the read voltage across the battery. Right now it's at 12.01. And uh, so... That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna measure that power. There it is just just to show the meter reading the current. Uh, see, it's on the uh, it's on the negative. Uh, so it's, it's coming from the negative through the meter and then out the positive. Uh, I got it wound all the way around here. Uh, out the positive into our negative of our. Uh, machine and then of course that goes to the switch so uh, I, I'm leaving the capacitor on here because uh, it doesn't matter if it's on or off it's just I'm leaving it there because it's easier it doesn't have to be there but because all we're doing is measuring the power coming out of the driving source there okay so let's do that and uh, I like to give this a little spin so it doesn't take as long to get up the speed Okay, and then uh, connect that up. There it goes. Uh, it just uh, kind of fell there. Uh, I never want to fasten anything down because, anyways, this did start out. I missed it, but it was like 300 milliamps of current. Um, voltage is down to 11.97, 98. Uh, 100 milliamps of current and uh, you'll see when we get done here and this gets in the resonance and this gets up the speed that our current will be down to around 50 milliamps of current so let's watch that for a little while and it's dropping that's to show that the power going in is very low uh, look at that we're already at 12 point well see there that's what I was trying to show in my last video and it's because I had the the voltmeter here across the capacitor instead of the battery and I don't know what the exact difference is there because they're both connected together but uh so we got 55 54 
uh, and then about 12.02. So I'm going to set this down and press hold on this on these meters. Okay, so uh, I'm going to disconnect this. Oh, and by the way, well, I can't do it now. It's too late. But uh. Slow that down to nothing, and this is where we paused it at. So we were using 50 milliamps of current and 12.01 volts on our input power. So if we want to figure that out, we do take 50 milliamps. So that's a uh, 0.050. Uh, and then we just simply multiply it by our voltage, which is 12.01 equal sign right here. Look at that. 600 milliwatts. 600 milliwatts. Now, does that look familiar? Our our capacitor when we were running it from our capacitor we used up 600 and what we figured 684 millijoules well this is 600 uh, milliwatts now it's a little off uh, the 684 millijoules that we used up was higher we used that's more power because um, we disconnected it from the battery so uh, our rotor slowed down just slightly um, uh, so that lowered the frequency a little bit and uh, when we lower our frequency we actually use more power and more current so uh, we used up a little bit more than we should have uh, because we were running it from a capacitor it's not going to run it forever and it's if that slows down it's going to use more power so that explains the difference between uh between our 600 milliwatts and our 684 millijoules really if this was uh, i think it was probably using like maybe 55 milliamps because of the slowing down uh, the dragging of the rotor well let's say we use 0 0.055 multiply that by uh, and this we were actually reading the voltage from the uh, capacitor which showed a lower voltage than the battery I'm not sure why so that was like 19 no 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 hold on 0 0.050 milliamps no no 0 0.055 milliamps times uh, 11.95 is what we showed in the last video. Look at that, 657. And that more correlates more with uh, our 684 millijoules, and this would be 657 millijoules or uh, milliwatts. I'm sorry. So you see, this this is a very good way. To uh, measure power is by uh, calculating the amount of joules in a capacitor running our device and uh, if that's what that is then we can certainly know how much power came out when we store it in another capacitor and before we calculated uh, 252 volts at 82 microfarads stores about uh, what was it 2.4 joules so so I'm about to show you uh, the calculation for that so you, so we can see more clearly that we are indeed getting out more joules and energy and uh, power but joule Joules now, you know, joules is, is the amount of energy stored in a capacitor, uh, okay, and then, of course, the, the 
a joule is equal to one watt second. So that's basically the energy or the joule is like the potential to do uh, the work of one watt in one second. So that's basically the same thing. So, okay, on to the uh, next little clip here. Okay, um, I think my microphone is like crackling a little bit, so uh, you're gonna have to bear with me here. Uh, I think my microphone is ripped a little bit, but so if my voice is crackling, then oh well. Uh, so here is the the link. This is the capacitor charge energy calculator. Um, and the formula is found right here. I'm actually using this part of it. This one actually uses the coulombs, but we don't really need to look at that alone by itself. But anyways, so here we start out with 11.96 uh, volts in a, a 10,000 microfarad capacitor. That's uh, our input capacitor that was running everything. And that contains 715.208 millijoules of energy. Okay, but what we're going to do is uh, we didn't actually use all that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and make sure that's cleared. And we're going to paste that in. And we're going to subtract. Uh, we're going to subtract what we ended up with which is 2.484 um, so come over here and go with 2.484 uh, okay and uh, so um, this is the amount that we're left with and if we plug that in we subtract it from what we started with We actually used 684 millijoules. So uh, what I'm going to do is take the 684.357 because it's in millijoules. I got to put the decimal right here because it's less than one joule, which would be a one right here if it was a full joule. So we're going to copy that next. We'll clear that out. Next is we take our second capacitor, which had 82 microfarads in it, uh, with 250. Round, I'm going to round this up to 252 uh, volts, and look at the amount of joules here. This is like 2,604 millijoules, I believe, or like almost like three joules of energy. So if we uh, take this 2.604 plug that in 2.604 and then we divide it by our uh, power we used which is only 684 uh, millijoules look at that that's a cop or coefficient of performance 3.80 if we multiply that by a hundred percent okay that's three hundred and eighty one percent rounded up three hundred and eighty three hundred eighty one percent energy uh, efficiency so three hundred eighty percent efficient uh, so and so here's the, this is the link right here uh, I'm gonna put it so you can get to it and uh, so that's how much energy yeah we got compared to what we used